What is going on everybody? It is Bucky and welcome to your very first tutorial in intermediate Java programming. Now if you're watching this, hopefully you worked your way through my beginner tutorials and this is just a continuation of my beginner series but I didn't want to just keep adding tutorials to that one series or else it'd be like 8,000 tutorials long. So that's why I'm splitting it up and uh, we're going to start from there, the end of there, and we're going to pick up on string methods because that's where we ended off obviously and that's where we're going to be going over today so if you don't know anything that I'm teaching today I would highly recommend you going to my beginner uh, series and I'll put a link to those series on the right hand side or actually I'd probably be too lazy to do that so you just gotta go find them on my home page or something but anyways they're out there so you know go find them so now that we got all the basics covered with strings we want to go over some things and what I want to teach you in this tutorial is some cool methods that were they're called start with and end with and they pretty much do exactly like they say they allow you to loop through an array or even just look at one string if you want but that's kinda of worthless and what they allow you to do is pick out all the words that begin with certain letters so let's go ahead and make a string array and we'll just name it words why? Because it's just going to have a bunch of words in it. And I'm going to name it Funk. Um, let's see. Chunk. Let's see what else will work for this tutorial. Furry. And I normally say that you can create your own words, but uh, use the words that I'm using because, I mean, and Baconator because these are we're going to compare them and I chose these for a very specific reason for this tutorial so copy them just like I did so now we have an array of four words funk chunk furry and Baconator and they're stored in an array called words so let's go ahead and first use the starts with method and here's how you do this I'm going to be demonstrating this in enhanced for loop which you guys should know from my beginner tutorials and if you don't um well go ahead and watch them go ahead and type in advanced for loop or something and you'll find it so I'm gonna loop through the words array and store each of those variables in the variable w so now what do we want to do well now that we're looping through this array we can use each word and represent it as w so now we can use that method let's go ahead and make a little if if w which is whatever word we're at at the time is gonna be equal to funk chunk furry and baconator and here's how we do this starts with and is your parameter just go ahead and type what you want to start with and we'll go ahead and put fu so ooh, I didn't even know that ouch should I put that yeah I definitely should put that so now what we should put is if this word starts with fu what do we want to do let's go ahead and system out print line and let's go ahead and just put like something like w plus starts with fu good enough so now here's what we're doing in this tutorial since we have this enhanced for loop it's gonna allow us to easily loop through this array right here it's gonna take each word represented as w at the time and it's gonna check alright if this starts with this and we pass an fu it's gonna output this if it doesn't then it's gonna do nothing at all so it's gonna say alright and I probably need to put a space right there alright did this start with fu yes so funk starts with fu does this no so it's not gonna do anything does furry start with fu yes so furry starts with fu and baconator of course that doesn't so it's not gonna do anything so let me go ahead and run this and now you can see it visually now you guys know that I'm not lying to you and that's actually what it did so that is how you take a string and you can pass it in a substring and see if that starts with that and you can even do that for one character if you want but I just want to show you guys that you can do it too and there's also of course if you go ahead and copy this actually you just go ahead and delete that probably but why not copy it there's also ends with I don't know why I added a comment I'm gonna delete this in like two seconds and instead of starts with you can put ends with and instead of fu since none of these words within let's go unk so loop through all my words and whatever ends with the UNK right that word ends with UNK so let's go ahead and run it and see what we get this is from our old method that we built and now we get funk ends with UNK and chunk ends with the UNK so of course 
furry and baconator did not end with u and k so that's why those didn't show up i guess you could say so now let's go ahead and delete all this and actually that's pretty good for this tutorial because in the next tutorial i'm going to be going over something else and it's probably going to take a little bit so thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to be going over how to find characters in a string and also substrings in a string sound confusing well it'll be clear once you watch my next tutorial but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you then